Hello beautiful people. You might be familiar with the saying and happy her day keeps the doctor away. What about an orange her day? Does it also keep the doctor away? Because oranges are loaded with vitamins, minerals, antioxidants, and other phytonutrients, which are good for the proper maintaining and functioning of the body. And so in this episode, I'll be sharing with you the health benefits of orange on the heart the blood vessels and they're also on the cholesterol in the bloodstream i know this definitely sounds interesting to you so if you are seeing me for the very first time thank you for stopping by you are in the right place and if you are familiar with my face my viewers and subscribers thank you so much for always being there for always coming around you are all welcome to this beautiful episode <music> today without any further ado is super amazing benefits of orange on the heart once again i'll be sharing with you the benefits of orange on the heart the blood vessels and also on the cholesterol number one oranges help to reduce the risk of heart attack yeah Orange juice contains a biochemical substance called esperidin and esperidin helps to prevent the arteries from being clogged by improving the health of nearby cells around the arteries. Apart from that, orange juice also contains vitamin C and vitamin C also helps to prevent atherosclerosis and heart attack and so just one glass or one cup of a freshly squeezed orange ensures lower risk of heart disease isn't that amazing so with one cup of a freshly prepared orange juice a 130 grams orange juice you know you could actually prevent heart attack and atherosclerosis Number two is orange also help to prevent heart disease. Yeah, oranges with oranges you could pre prevent heart disease. For example, coronary heart disease. Now, orange contains adequate amount of potassium and calcium, which could help to regulate heart rate by countering sodium action. At the same time, oranges also contains phytochemicals such as flavonoids and the fibers present could also help to cut the risk of coronary heart disease and according to a recent study taking orange juice regularly could cut down the risk of coronary heart disease by 50 percent isn't that amazing too so with orange you could cut down the risk of coronary heart disease and the fibers present in orange could also help to curtail overeating and weight gain which is another factor when it comes to heart disease at the same time orange intake could help to reduce oxidative stress and reducing oxidative stress too could also help to reduce the risk of heart disease and fruits generally that are rich in potassium magnesium and carotenoids are great for protecting for protecting the heart and examples are banana apple apricot mango and orange once again so orange contains potassium and these are very good for protecting the heart so you could prevent atherosclerosis with orange you could prevent heart attack with orange you could prevent heart disease for example coronary heart disease with orange and still to come Orange also helps to maintain the blood pressure levels. Isn't that amazing too? Yes, orange contains magnesium and potassium, which act against sodium and thereby helps in controlling the blood pressure level. So when you take orange juice regularly, it could help to lower or maintain your blood pressure levels. And the fibers present in orange too could also help to maintain blood pressure levels. So maintain your blood pressure levels freely with this fruit that is so common in your locality called orange at the same time orange also helps to improve your good cholesterol and reduce your bad cholesterol orange contains vitamins which aid in regulating 
cholesterol levels and the fibers present in orange could also help to reduce the blood bad cholesterol also referred to as the low density lipoproteins in the blood stream and it will amaze you to know that one just 130 grams of orange is so rich that it contains vitamin c of 116.1% folate of 9.8 percent vitamin b1 of 7.3 percent potassium of 6.7 percent vitamin a of 5.8 percent calcium of 5.2 percent calories of 3 percent and then fibers of 12.5 percent and so just one orange of about 130 grams is sufficient for you to get your daily intake of vitamin c it's the vitamin C is excellent, about 116.1%. And it will also amaze you to know that the vitamin C that is present in the pulp of orange is twice greater than that which is present in the peel of the orange. And it is 10 times greater than the vitamin C that is present in the orange juice. And that is why I said in my last episode that you should try as much as possible to always finish your fruits. You may not be able to eat the exo cap but take the berry cap take the handle cap you really need a pulp but there's so much nutrients in that pulp there's so much fiber in that pulp so there's so much vitamin c in that pulp so while you are taking your, your orange try to also take the pulp of your orange some even peel some even cut the peel you know wash the peel and, uh, and also blend the peel too because there's vitamin c in the peel too so orange is so amazing you could prepare your orange juice yourself like i said in my last episode just get your one orange your big 130 grams orange cut it wash it and then you prepare your orange juice yourself and with that you help your circulatory system to keep functioning oranges are good for the heart and not only oranges are good for the heart berries are good for the heart avocados are good for the heart at the same time pomegranates are also good for the heart Berries are rich in antioxidants, for example, anthocyanins, and this antioxidant helps to prevent oxidative stress and inflammation, which over time could result into heart disease. At the same time, they also help to decrease your bad cholesterol level. And so eating berries, for example, blueberries are very good for the heart. They improve the functioning of cells that line up in the blood vessels according to store D. Now, apart from berries, avocados are also good for the heart. They contain healthy fats. You know, I've once talked about fats, unsaturated fats, saturated fats. Avocados contain healthy fats, for example, potassium. And so, regular intake of avocado too could help to reduce your risk of heart disease. And studies show that people who eat avocado more regularly are less likely to develop metabolic syndrome. And metabolic syndrome over time could result into diabetes and heart disease. So avocado could help to reduce cholesterol levels and they are also good for heart health. They help to reduce the bad cholesterol which clusters in the wall of the blood versus pomegranates are also excellent for the heart and so take advantage of these fruits around you take advantage of orange take advantage of berries if you have blueberries around you if you have avocado around you if you have pomegranate around because you because heart disease is a leading cause of death in the entire world apart from this new ravaging covid 19 heart disease is also a leading cause of death and so you want to stay healthy you are so interested in being healthy staying healthy just take this this orange take orange in order to boost the circulatory system i know you've gained one or two things from this episode so let us go to the question of the day my question last in my last episode was which type of fruit is the king of vitamin c yes the king of vitamin c vitamin c have lots of amazing new amazing benefits on the body helps to heal helps to boost the immune system i just said it now that it even helps to lower the bad cholesterol and improve the good cholesterol and it's good for heart health so vitamin c has lots of awesome benefits the king of vitamin c is citrus fruit someone actually answered with orange orange is a common example of citrus fruit other examples of citrus are grape tangerine lemon but the commonest example of citrus is orange 
so my answer is citrus fruits and my question for today is which is the commonest mineral in the body yeah which co mineral is the most abundant in the body i'm not talking about uh, coca-cola or fanta this time around i'm talking about magnesium calcium phosphorus you understand so which of these minerals is the most abundant in the body thank you so much for watching this episode i know you've gained one or two things so please don't forget to give me thumbs up for this video and also let the conversation continue in the comment section leave your answer for me in the comment section please and also share this video and if you are yet to subscribe why don't you join this beautiful family by simply pressing the subscribe button and then you press the notification bell beside the word subscribe so that you can get all notifications anytime i upload this goodies thank you so much for sparing your precious time stay safe and bye for now